the general comments on tonight's game? Uh, the only thing that jumps out at me is that we had a team out there that was playing at the top of their game, and we had a team that was playing, uh, I mean, very much so on top of their game, and we had another team that was not nearly what they had to be tonight. I uh, was very, very impressed with how hard and how quick and how smart Maine played. I was uh, disappointed in our efforts. And uh, the difference in the, uh, in the speed of the game, the difference in the focus, we went back on our heels all night until the third period. I thought we played pretty hot in the third period. I was uh, <coughs> not. I thought it would be a real fast game because I thought both teams would come flying, and uh, one of them did. Questions for the student athletes, Scott. Scott Walker, U.S. College Hockey Online. Uh, Kevin and Eric, uh, to me this game seemed a little bit like a mi microcosm of the season to some degree. You know, a, a slow, shaky start and then some real inspiring uh, hockey down the stretch, but in, in the end, uh, too little, too late. Would you agree with that and just reflections on the season? <clears throat> yeah, you know, I think tonight was, we, we showed both teams that we were this, this year. Um, the first two periods, we just didn't didn't bring it and we weren't ready for for how well Maine was playing and we didn't match their intensity we lost all of our battles and finally when third period came around we knew we had to we didn't have that much time left we started kicking it into gear and in any playoff game you can't do that and Maine played well defensively holding on to their lead and you know they they get their goal at the end and you know, it was only a matter of time because we, we really, we set ourselves up for it. More questions for the student athletes? Scum Glock and Dave from Press. Uh, Kev, what do you think accounted for that slow star? Were guys just not ready or was it something else? It, it seemed that way, you know, it seemed like we went out there and we were back on our heels from the beginning of the game. And, you know, it, it, seemed like they really just came at us and we weren't expecting them to. And, uh, it, it was just a poor start and like I said, you can't, you can't do that. Kev, uh, Jake Snyder, Daily Free Press. Can you just kind of talk about that 5-3 on three in the second period and what kind of happened when you guys didn't get any goals off that? Well, you know, I think our power play the, for the past couple of weekends has been um, you know, pretty poor and once that happens, guys start getting frustrated. We start overthinking it and get away from simple plays. And we were just trying to force a lot of plays there. And that could have been a huge uh, momentum changer for us. And the guys going out there have to know that. And we have to, uh, you know, take pride in going out there and being on the power play. And like I said, for the past couple of weekends, we haven't done that. And it really sucks the life out of the team. Rachel? Rachel Lindsay from the Portland Press Herald. Game comes to three two in the final minutes. How did Maine take back the momentum in those final moments? They just kept pressing. They, they didn't let off the gas the whole game. They uh, they came at us and we had a few glimpses of you know, both and you know, they were gonna turn things around, but they just kept on uh, kept on coming and you know, hats off to them. They played a heck of a college hockey game and they're a great team and uh, wish them all luck in the rest of the season. More questions? Tim? Tim Ruth, <coughs> Inside Hockey. Uh, to make it a 3-2 game with the length of uh, the video review, what's the feeling like on the bench? Uh, we've seen this before, too, in the beam pod. Um, can you just talk about uh, what the mood was like on the bench uh, with this, maybe the cardiac heads um, version coming back? Um, yeah, well, especially after the COVID goal. Um, I mean, there was a lot more energy on the bench. and. Guys are feeling pretty good, you know. We had uh, we had something going, we had a chance, and um, we just worked that last goal. Was uh, was just really backbreaking for the team. Anything else final for the student athletes, Larry? Thanks, Larry. Morning, Mega News. Uh, Kevin, could you just uh, talk about the turnaround? Garnett gets the breakaway, and then 47 seconds later, Deacon Strohs and scores. Yeah, you know, with <coughs> those are the breaks of the game, you know. Ross gets a, a great chance on a breakaway, and um, Wilson made a, a great save, and 
he played well the whole night. And, <clears throat> you know, it's just the kind of thing where he makes a big save, their bench gets going, and, and you know, kind of starts to feel like maybe things aren't uh, aren't all going against them anymore. And, you know, they, they did well in the transition. They're a great transition team, and they created a great playoff. <coughs> and, and uh, you know, get the goal. Anything else final for the student athletes? Thank you very much, guys. Uh, we'll take more questions uh, for Coach Parker this time. Jim. Jack, Jim Conley from US College Hockey Online. You talked last weekend about the fact that your uh, your team is uh, pretty heavily, uh, one of the more heavily penalized teams. Obviously, going against Maine, pretty good power play, best in the nation. How much did you have to talk about that before going in, just staying out of the box? And what was the, the frustration like with the 7 8 power plays again? Well, I think we've we been talking about that all year, and we just couldn't get it out of our game. Uh, it was not just the season that we took a lot of stupid penalties. We've taken a lot of bad penalties this year. We want to play physical, but we, we, we've got to be much smarter than that. And we had some guys that uh, were frustrated probably in the way they were playing. And, uh, and I think that was, you know, that's probably what what caused the problem. When we, when they, when we scored the the, uh, the second goal to make it 3-2, to uh, the problem was the penalty they had called on me was just was wiped off now. Now we were on, we were a man down, and that's when they scored. So we had the chance in the breakaway, but they scored right back after that. Uh, if it was a five-five situation, it might have been a little bit more momentum. But uh, I thought we I thought one of the only things we did tonight was kill penalties pretty well. Uh, I don't know how many we had. Uh, I know we got the, the last power play goal. We got two power play goals. The last one was, you know, in desperation when we down the other end trying to get one ourselves. So, uh, but the best power play in the nation, we take, you know, a third of the game off killing penalties is, is uh, insanity. A good definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. And uh, we did the same thing over and over again all year long. Did you get that, Steve? Yeah. Scott? Just pretty much the same question asked the players. Uh, you think tonight's sort of a microcosm of the year in terms of the slow start and then some promising signs and then a little self-destruction maybe at the end. And just do you have perspective right now on just the whole season and or is that going to take a little bit more time? What went wrong? Uh, unless we had a miracle finish, it was, we already had a perspective of what the season was about. When the season was about we just weren't ready to play. We weren't hungry enough. We were easily satisfied. You know, we, I mean, what we did last weekend was up, down. We played pretty well the first night against Merrimack, and then we did what we did tonight against Merrimack the second night. I mean, absolutely stood around and watched him. We stood around and watched Mason. So then we had a good game against Merrimack to, to get back up again, and my, I think my guys are either easily satisfied or easily fooled. We're all set now. It'll, it'll come to us. And uh, before the game started, I, I said to uh, Buddy Powers, my assistant coach, it's awful casual in here. They don't, they don't look like they're ready to play. And, uh, Ordinarily, I would say I'd be flabbergasted if the BU hockey team wasn't ready to play, you know, one game to get them to the finals, to get them to the national tournament. I'd be flabbergasted at that, but not this team. I'm not surprised at it. This has been a, uh, this has been a, a long season of that type of stuff. Almost good enough. Okay, we're all set now. We're back on, we're back on our game. But, you know, this team underachieved all year long. That's, that falls on my head more than anybody else's. But we, uh, this team should have had a much better record than they have. This team sh uh, should have, we should have got more out of uh, a lot of players. We had maybe three players who played up to or better than their capabilities this year. And that's not even close. And that was the opposite of what we had last year. So, uh, I remember I uh, was talking to Jerry York in this building last year. This, at, the, at the bean bot time, they just finished the consolation game. We went out to play the championship game. And I said, tough game. You know, they won, you know, they don't, in the consolation game. And he said, yeah, and we were talking to him, and he said, this is the worst year I've been, you know, it's a real tough year for us. We really had a hard, we're having a hard time. It's been awful for the coaching staff, the players. We just have not been able to get over the fact we won the Nationals last year. We really, you know, too full of ourselves, blah, 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 blah. And it kept going on for a while. And I said, Jerry, listen to yourself.